What's up guys, Nepenthes here, and welcome back to another FIFA 23 video. It is 6pm, it is Wednesday, we're going to have a new team of the week today, and uh, there was a lot happening in FIFA today. First of all, the full team of the year got leaked, if you missed that, uh, just check out the channel, there's a video on the channel where I go through the full team of the year, and second of all, EA nerfed Centurion cards, and if you missed that, there's also a video on the channel, so go check that out too. Let's have a look. Uh, what EA have or haven't, most likely haven't, given the fact that it's, uh, yeah, see, given the fact that Team of the Year starts on Friday, I'm expecting almost nothing between now and then. Ooh, preview pack, OP view pack. Go on then, Savage, lad. Um, in the promo pack section, it is just the premium gold players pack plus a, a gold pack in there as well. Why not? Why not? Uh, as for SBCs for today, I saw it. It was Peta Check. Here's a new icon for today. Five segments for good old Peta. Or should we say Peta Schmeichel? Am I right? Stupid. Um, yeah, I mean, good goalkeeper, six foot five. Going to be interested to see what his reactions are. Long throw and cautious with crosses. I don't know how that influences a goalkeeper, to be fair. The bronze and silver team. An 84, an 85, and an 86, which will probably be really easy to craft over team of the year. An 84, an 85, and an 86. What was Kaka? An 84, an 86, an 87, and an 88. Yeah, it's, fair, it's a fair amount cheaper. Uh, nothing in advanced or basic or live. What have we got in live? We've got 23 hours left on that. We've got the 83 by 10 is back again. The daily login upgrade is there again. Don't forget to do that. Honestly, guys, don't forget to do that. Um, oh, we've got 83 by three upgrades. This is for Team of the Year. And if you, this is repeatable three times. And if you guys do this, please do me a favor and save them. Don't open them. I'm not going to open them either right now. It would be ludicrous. Um, but yeah, I mean, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. And that. The 83 by 10 is back, which is good. And again, do it, save it, right? Save for Team of the Year. Team of the Year is on Friday now. We've got the 83 by 3 Defenders upgrade, which is going to cost you an 83 rated squad with an 84 rated player. And it's repeatable three times. An 83 by 3 Midfielders upgrade, which is going to cost you an 83 rated squad with an 84 rated player. And the attackers, I bet this is going to be 284s or maybe 185. It's 185. So it's still an 83 rated squad and 185 overall. That's really nice as well. And then the 83 plus times 10 upgrade is back. There's a lot there. Daily login. Get it done. Go and do it right now. Even if you use the mobile app or whatever, right? Go and do it right now. If you forget to do this and you miss out on some sick rewards because you didn't exchange one bronze card, you're going to be livid with yourself. You sure are. Absolutely livid with yourself. Now, me personally, I'm saving the uh, daily objectives. I will open them all together all at the same time at the end of the, uh, the 14 completions. Um, you know, we'll save that for team of the year and do it all together. What have we got? So we've got Silver Stars, Manu Sanchez. A left back. Just a just a just a poor card, really, isn't it? I know Silver Stars is Silver Stars, but they used to give decent boost to Silver Stars. It doesn't feel like they do anymore. Silver Beast is back as well. Uh for a rare mega pack. Worth doing now again. Just to have that opportunity for team of the year, you know. It's worth doing the uh first owner fiesta. It's worth doing the Centurions Cup. It's worth doing everything you can right now to just build and st and stack and save packs. Well the EA Sports Cup is back again. Um, if you're into that sort of thing. Otherwise, no objectives. No milestones. And so what, guys, is the team of the week? Surely going to be maybe Erdegaard. In no, yeah, he's already had player of the month. Maybe Erdegaard in there still, though. Team of the week. Tiago Silva 88 is there. We've got Dybala 88. Now they get bigger upgrades now, don't they? Four star, three star. We've got Osimen 87. Three star, four star. 
It's just these cards are just bang average. I know what I know they've made a change to team of the week, but still 69 stamina, poor agility and balance, poor pace. But Dybala, pace split is bad, stamina's bad, otherwise not an awful card. Loads of traits, which is great. But three star uh weak foot. Aussie men similar as well. Three star skill moves sucks. Agility and balance and dribbling in general sucks. Physical is quite nice. Passing is terrible. We've got inform Marcus Rashford. Five star, three star, medium low. And again, it's just it's just not a very good card. He he won't be bad because he's got five star skill moves. But we've got Galeno as well. Yeah, bang average. He'll be discard price. We've got the star man James Ward Prowse. Four star, four star outrageous passing good physicals reasonable defending for a cam as well good shot power long shots and decent dribbling good traits that's not, like i know it's like not a crazy crazy car but that's not like bad and then we've also got diata's double upgrade four star four star some nice stats in there but nothing too crazy we have got les Juen. we have got tiago silva both of whom are just too slow with too terrible dribbling we have got triore 87 very good physicals, very good pace, decent passing, decent dribbling, not the best defending. We've got Aaron Ramsdale in goal. Go on, laddie. Of course, he's going to have no reaction boost. Pepe Reina, 40 years old. My goat, baby. Come on now. Uh, Kolasinac, ex-Arsenal player in there. Turam from Nice. Ooh, he looks interesting. Three star, three star, six foot four, high, high work rates. That's not bad. Yeah, so it's all right. We've got Robert, Robert One. He's already got a special card. We've got Jonathan David. Three-star skill moves, five-star weak foot still. Pace and shooting is good. Dribbling is okay. Physical is very nice. Outside the foot shot trait as well. Timo Pukki, of course, scored a hat-trick. Jonathan David got two goals for Lille. Uh, Lookman for Regarmo Gaggio. I think that they won 8-2 on the weekend, didn't they? I think he got two, two assists, a goal, and one a penalty. Something like that. Um... Yeah, just not the best card again. It's just four star, four star is nice, but it's just eh. We've got Zeruke of Trente. How he get a man of the match against ten man Ajax? Oh, I don't know. Uh, Penrice, Penref, more like in it. Go on, lads. Penrice, get out of here, mate. Uh, Kemen from Kaiserspor. They won five one on the weekend. Sure did. Uh, they need to put Bilal back in goal though, mate. This guy's got some mad stats. Good pace. Great physicals, and then all right elsewhere. We've got Tesh and Cornet, and Pep Guardiola is a manager. Damn. Uh, so that's the team of the week. Let's have a little look at some of the stuff on Footbin because it does matter. Um, no new players. Current team of the week. So who who, who am I like interested in here? Dybala, Thiago Silva, James Will Prowse, Traore, Diata, Rashford, Ramsdale, David. That's about it. When we look at Dybala, he's been given an 86 to an 88, which is nice, you know. But look, it's already 50k. He's already got an 88 rated card, although his ones to watch should now go up to an 89. Unless they give it to a 90, which could be like quite an interesting uh, upgrade there. Uh, did they give him traits? That's the question. No, he already had that mad amount of traits. Thiago Silva already has an 88 that is just literally better in pace, dribbling, defending, physical, and passing. Pointless. Pointless. Uh, James Ward Prowse already down at 30k. Now he's been given a massive upgrade. Fair play, right? 19 pace, 8 physical, only 4 stamina, 10 defending, 8 dribbling. And this card has a little bit of potential with the 4 star, 4 star. Was he already that? No. So they've upgraded him from 3 star, 3 star to 4 star, 4 star. No traits. High, high work rates. This isn't a bad card. Um, I think something like... Obviously, maybe, maybe like a Hunter or a Shadow. Like a Shadow makes him an interesting midfielder. He's, he's not bad. He's not bad, especially if you're a Saints fan, right? This is going to be a mad card for you to just go straight into the team. We've got Triore up from his 85 in form. He's got the 86 special card as well, but this card's okay. It's just... It's, it's okay. This card's actually okay. It's just three star, three star. Sucks a little bit. And then Diata, guys, from a 74 rated from Monaco up to an 
86 rated. That's wild. Um, yeah, I mean, fair enough. They've given him a monster upgrade, right? He's four star, four star now. He was four star, four star before. His jumping and stamina is great. His physicals generally is very good. Shooting is not bad. I think uh, a finisher. He's all right. He'd be all right up front, right? He's got left mid and right mid and right wing. We've got Marcus Rashford. Only a plus one from the player of the month, which is a bit sad. And they didn't even upgrade his physical or his defending at all. Or his long passing at all. Um, but not a patch on his, you know, 88 rating. Well, actually, Jesus Christ. His 88 rating has only got one pace, one shooting, two balance, one in ball control, dribbling and composure. A small boost in passing and a good boost in physical. But that's a wild upgrade for a plus three. It's nowhere near as good. Aaron Ramsdale... 80 reactions, it's not bad. It's not bad. He's obviously going to be like mad OP in that. Like, look, they can't even find him on the market. He's just extinct all the time. And then Jonathan David up from the 82 to the 85. Um, got a decent boost, nothing crazy. He already has the 86 rated uh, special card, which is same pace, otherwise better. And so there you go, guys. That is uh, the content. It's a nice team of the week. This stuff's downvoted, I think, just because it's, like, quite expensive. And it is quite expensive, but you're going to be getting, like, guaranteed 983 pluses out of each of them. Pet checks are voted, which is nice. Um, I, I, I think that these are reasonable, man, because it's like, shoot your shot for Team of the Year, right? Shoot your shot. And although it's 17k... The amount of accessible, untradeable fodder right now is crazy, so it makes it easy to get. But that's going to be the end of the video for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.